Today I'm going to show you a beautiful ballerina inspired top knot on my friend Yashana. Using my pintail tail comb, I'm going to section off four sections along the hairline. These I want to pin out of the way and I'm going to come back to them. It doesn't matter if these sections aren't perfectly symmetrical. You just want to make sure that it's really just the small bits of hair that are along the hairline. Now that you've got everything out of the way, I'm going to prepare Yashana's hair for a ponytail. I want to make sure that my ponytail looks nice and smooth. So to do this, I actually need to change the texture of Yashana's hair. To make it easier, I'm going to section her hair off at the top and then in the middle and then also at the bottom. Again, I like to use my pintail tail comb because it gets right in there at the scalp without pulling or hurting Yashana. Because I'm just preparing for a ponytail, my sections don't have to be super clean, but I still want to make sure that I'm working with neat sections. Using a little bit of water, I'm going to stretch Yashana's hair and get all of the curl removed. I find the easiest way to do this is to use my Dyson Wide Tooth Tail Comb Attachment. You'll see I'm only smoothing at the scalp and sort of midway down to the ends. I don't want to completely straighten her hair because I still want to have a nice curly ponytail. It can be tricky at first to do this, but with practice you'll get better and better. You can see I'm also lifting that hair up to where I'm going to place my ponytail on Yashana's head. If I don't smooth enough hair, I run the risk of her hair looking kind of puffy at the root. So I would suggest that you want to smooth maybe a little bit more than what you expect because you can always go ahead, wet down the hair and get the curl back. In addition to water, you could also use a little bit of a heat protector. Take your time. Each section really won't take that long if you keep your work nice and neat. I like to use my gold professional clips as I'm working. The top section, I really want to make sure that I'm being detailed because this is where you're really going to see all of the sections of the hair and all of the little bits. So using that comb attachment really helps me get in there. Now that I've smoothed all of the hair at the root, I'm going to resection for my ponytail. You've probably seen me do this in other videos, and I find that when you're working with lots of hair, like Yashana has, it's easier for me to tie a nice, clean, tight pony. Make sure that before you tie this ponytail, that you have all of your sections on a diagonal. If you don't, it may be hard to join the sections together. Now that the bottom section is clipped out of the way, I can grab my elastic cord and start to pin my ponytail base. You can see I've got this a little bit lower on the head. I don't want to have it too, too high because I want it to have that perfect ponytail shape which means it's gonna line up with the cheekbone to the top of the head. With my base ponytail in place, I can now add the bottom section. I get Yashana to look up ever so slightly, this way it doesn't sag at the bottom. I'll do the same thing in the top section, 
like I've mentioned before, if you want, go back in some of my other videos where I tie a ponytail for more detail. Now to smooth everything out. I'm using my edge brush and some edge cream and I'm going to go over my whole ponytail. Because I've gone ahead and I've smoothed her hair already, this step is so much easier and you can really see how that product is going to make her ponytail really glisten and look refined. For the rest of the hair, I'm going to form into a beautiful bun-like ballerina shape. Using my Japanese U pins, I'm going to anchor the hairstyle right into place. You may need to use a few of these anchoring from side to side in order to reduce the size of your hairstyle. I still want to have a lot of fullness, but I want to make sure that the shape is nice and matches with the rest of the hairstyle. Now I'm going back to those pieces at the front. Using a little bit of water and quite a bit of gel, I'm going to form perfect pin curls along the edges of Yashana's face. Take your time with these. You don't want to rush because you really want to make sure that they're formed perfectly into place. I'm using a non-marking clip to hold the hair in place. It's important that I use these because I'm going to go back with my diffuser and dry the hair thoroughly. Now I'm going to diffuse. Now that everything's dry, I've removed my non-marking clips and you can see there's no marks anywhere. I've left the perfect space for my pearl headband. You can see how this really takes this look that's great for the day into a formal wow hairstyle. 